Hi, my name is Ellie. I am one half of Tough Souls. And today, this is a three minute trail video all about Anshi and Aragal. Anshi and Aragal is a 77 km looped trail that we started in Falkara, County Donegal. We walked this trail clockwise over three days. This was our fifth and final trail in Donegal, and it was our 32nd trail when walking all 42 of Ireland's National Waymark trails. Leaving Falkara on our first day, we headed south towards Mount Aragal for a short day's walk to the Aragal Youth Hostel. This hostel sits at the foot of the mountain, offering the most amazing views of the landscape around it. The trail follows tiny back roads out of Falkara, and staying on these lanes makes a very straight beeline downwards, resulting in our first day actually being kind of a short one. That evening, we sit out and watch the sunset over the mountains. We leave at a reasonable hour the next day, walking through a light fog. The trail takes you down and across the lake towards Guidor. It's a nice walk along some forestry roads, a peaceful and easy stretch of trail to wake yourselves up along. The trail doesn't actually go through the town of Guidor, and we don't bother to make the detour. The rest of the afternoon is pretty much on tiny boreens. Reaching Bunbeg that evening, we found somewhere to stay, dropped our bags, and walked the 10 km loop out around the beaches between Bunbeg and Derrybeg. It was such an incredibly beautiful evening that as we started walking, I knew it was going to be one of those nights I would never forget. If only I'd known that it was also St. John's Eve, as the sun sets in burning reds and oranges way out over the sea, the first flames of the bonfire night start to wind their way up through the towering pyres all across the landscape around us. Thick columns of dark smoke rise up, creating a chain along the coast that I'll never forget. Leaving Derry Beg the next morning, the trail leaves this town along the usual routes, very small, twisting lanes. The road slowly turns into an unmarked chip track, and then we're back onto neatly sheep-shorn grassy dunes. We spent the early afternoon walking along beaches and rocky coastlines, looking out at an incredibly blue sea. We pass through some more coves, back up a couple of small lanes, and take our lunch break for half an hour at a bench. On the next section of trail, we come across some amazing, breathtaking coastline, before we're quickly sent back to the bog again. There's not a lot of waymarking here, and as we reach each Elvis, we have to hunch the horizon for the next pole, bearing his little yellow smudge. Even though we walked this trail during a drought, there were still some very wet sections of bog, and both of us ended up with soggy feet. Leaving the bog once more, we're back onto dirt paths that turn into small roads. It's harder walking on the solid surfaces in the heat, but the views are good as we work our way up some small hills. There are a couple more roads, and eventually we find ourselves back in Falkar. While this trail does have a fair bit of road, the off-road sections are gorgeous and well worth walking. There's indoor accommodation available in most of the villages that this trail passes through, and camping is possible along the western half of this trail. For more information, check the description where we've linked our full-length video, blog post, free maps, and more. It's thanks to the support of our amazing patrons that we were able to keep creating. This week, I'd like to say a special thank you to Gareth Caho, Sasha Dalica, and Nigel McMars. It's through their support and everybody on Patreon that we were able to keep making videos. So I'd like to say a huge thank you. And I will see you in our next video.